is it fair is it just was it a must <laughs> And hi guys and welcome to my Xena channel and I am Xena GK or Gary G Reviews. So the topic at hand is was Xena's ending what you expected and do you like it even? So guys for years there was this um you know like um debate about how Xena ended and whether or not she had to die at the end or not, like if you haven't seen Xena, spoiler alert. So basically what happened, you have to know this, but I'm just gonna say it real quick. Gabriel took her mantle, her chakra, her role, and Zena died because of something that she did long ago. She kind of forgot about it and well, for me, at least how I saw it then is that the creators decided to put her in this situation where something from her past that she really did forget about it, it's kind of how it felt and how I remember it and now all, all of a sudden it appears and she's like no this is my duty I have to go and fix that because well I just have to fix it well she's Xena so she went and she saw that because of this accidental fire that she caused so many souls died I mean so many people died and then unexpectedly some other evil spirit trapped them all and now he's using them for his purposes hoping eventually for him to come back to the land of the living so to speak for him to have a physical body all of those things so please correct me if i'm wrong i haven't seen that episode in years because i did cry a lot on it <sighs> so <laughs> So yeah guys, I personally, as a fan of Xena, always been conflicted on this and always had a hard time talking about it, thinking about it, because, you know, it's Xena and she had to suffer so much and now all of a sudden this to come out and just to take her life and even Gabrielle, the fact that she had a chance to save her but Zina was like no if I come back to life all of those souls they are still going to be trapped yeah but if Zina dies she will not save any more souls ever you know where if she was continued to live she would save a lot more souls the point was that if she comes back to life it's going to be like an incomplete circle so even if she killed the guy that was holding them like she did she still has to stay dead for them to stay released, which it just doesn't make that much sense to me now when I think about it. The explanation, as far as I can recall, was that that's the way that things work, because otherwise if she does not stay dead, she did not take her punishment, but she did sacrifice her freaking self, she went alone <laughs> against an army and it was, I mean, she was slaughtered basically, which was another thing to deal with, I mean, the way that Xena died was just one of the most brutal, unbearable things to witness, I don't think that she deserved that, and yes, she... Um, held her own for as long as she could and what she did I don't think that any female heroine hero whatever ever 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 went through such a tremendous like I mean such a terrible death and such a heroic act that she did I mean this is unbelievable by its own what Dina was able to do against this army but in the end some someone nameless samurai that we couldn't care less about just killed her and you know cut her head off <laughs> oh, i was disgusted by this guys now if you look the story from a point of a writer maybe the things will look a bit different they did write the story in a way that is unbiased so to speak when it comes to xena the story is written as like an objective almost look from above towards Xena as just a person. It was not biased towards her as a character like we are because we, the fans, we love Xena. So obviously we don't want her to die. But the story 
and the writers always have to be a bit unbiased when they write their stories. They have to look at the world and the characters from a perspective of a god, so to speak. And by a god, I mean somebody that understands the laws of the universe and how the universe is structured so it can function. So if there's a cause, there's an effect. That is what works within the human realm and how humans interact if a human <laughs> does something. It creates a karma uh, connections between each and every one of us. So basically when Zena did something, she caused this chain of events that eventually led her to her past, to her own karma, to what she has to go through in order to redeem herself. And all of those people that she killed, the only way that they would have been, you know, saved is the way that... <laughs> where she has to pay for it some kind of a way. The point is that I'm coming from is mostly not like the writers are looking at the story, but why the writers decide to take this route with Xena. Why can they just decide to leave her to leave her alone, so to speak, or to let her live with Gabrielle the way that they did with Hercules and Iolas. They just let them both just go on on their journeys to what end, nobody knows. But the point is that they I gave them a chance and let the viewers write their story. So my question towards you guys and even towards myself is what do we prefer? What do you prefer? Would you prefer for Xena to be like left alive in the same way that Hercules was? For her and Gabrielle to just continue their ways and we will be, you know, leaving the story to our own to our own fantasies where the journey can take them and we could just assume that maybe someday they will they will die from a battle or they will not die something else could happen and they can maybe settle down at one point who knows but no you know the writers uh, rob tappert or whoever it is they just said to kill Zina off and send gabriel all on her own to her journey and Zina just being there as a spirit, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. Sometimes there's some stories that you can just, yeah, you know, f forget about your emotions, look at it completely with wisdom and objectivity and just reason and be like, yeah, I mean, if I didn't care so much about this character, this totally makes sense for this for the character. This time. For so many years since I was a child, I still, I'm still not sure about this. I still feel conflicted with with the uh, with the fact. Uh, yeah, the end touched me. I cried. I will never forget it. They achieved that effect in a lot of us, but was that right towards Zena? I just don't know. Just not sure yet. So. As Xena fans, guys, let me know what you think in the comments. Let's discuss this. I don't think that anyone really talked about this for years. And if there's any chance for the show to continue, how can even continue? That's maybe a video for another day, but let me know about the ending and what do you think about it. Is it fair? Is it just... Was it the must? <laughs> that is it, guys. Thank you very much for watching and please, if you'd like to help me uh, so I can make more Zina content in the future and just rejuvenate this channel and uh, you know put its ashes in that uh, water that Gabriel was supposed to put Zina's ashes. <laughs> just share, rate, comment and subscribe. If you'd like to support me directly, you can check out Streamlabs link down below and my OnlyFans for sex educational content. You can check out my main channel, Gary G Reviews, and my fitness channel. Till next time with me, Zena GK. Or just Gary. Bye guys.